What would your wardrobe look like if you started it from scratch? I have filmed this video a few times over the years and I thought it was time for a little bit of an update but instead I wanted this to act as a little bit of a blueprint for those of you who are really unsure where to start you want to know what are the foundational key pieces to have in your wardrobe I'm planning to keep this as snappy and as short as possible but I'm also planning to share with you how you can actually mix and match a lot of these pieces together and that is a great thing about these kind of core staples the items that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe in some form or another. Maybe not the exact version that I've shared, but you might find that there's a basic that kind of falls within those same lines that suits your personal style. And remember, you can always tailor these things to you. Now, I have done a capsule that is centered all around basics, but basics that aren't boring over on my Substack. So if that sounds a little bit more like you, I will be sure to link that down in the description box below, along with everything that I have shared in case you want to go and shop anything. But let's dive right into it with the first piece that I think everyone should have. Now I feel like a basic crew neck tee is a must and if I was starting my wardrobe from scratch I would add this in not just one but three colors white gray and black because that is going to be a good base to start my outfits from. Now you could go with something that is fitted but I personally prefer a relaxed silhouette. Next item on the list is a singlet tank top of some variety again slim or loose and I would have this in two colors white and black. Moving on to knitwear and there are really two key silhouettes you need to have. One would be a sweater, some sort of a crew neck or a v-neck depending on your preferences. I've gone for an oversized style and then the other sweater to have is some sort of cardigan. I like that you can wear these both buttoned up and then tuck it in like a little top or else you can wear it loose as intended. You could also wear it back to front if you really wanted. A third option to include would be a slim fitting knit but for the purposes of this capsule I've just gone with the two sweaters I mentioned first. The shirt is one of my favorite style essentials because they are so versatile you can wear them casually but also perfect for the office. I would have two in my wardrobe one in white and one in blue. There are two other tops I would include the first being a Breton stripe top and I think this is a really good base pattern or print to have in your wardrobe which is very seamless and goes with everything and then I will also go for another long sleeve top in some sort of a knitted fabrication which can act as a base layer especially for those winter time outfits. Let's move on to trousers shorts and skirts and I have to say there are two pairs of trousers I think are a must. One pair that is cropped and one pair that is full length because this really gives you so much variety in terms of how you're going to style your outfits. Again the actual fit is going to be something that will be unique to you but I would suggest going for a neutral color. I've gone with black here. I would add two skirts to my wardrobe. One that is a little bit shorter whether it is knee length or a mini like the one I'm wearing here. It looks really great with tights in the winter and then I would also opt for something that is a full length or a midi length. I really like the style of this trouser skirt and the fact it's got the slits at the side because it gives you a bit of ventilation when you're moving. Then we have shorts and I recommend two pairs of shorts. The first style is going to be something that is a little bit more tailored that feels really smart with minimal effort and I love wearing this with a singlet and then an oversized shirt over the top very chic and I would opt for a neutral color I've gone with black here then a pair of classic denim shorts and a cut that you really like I love something high-waisted with a wide opening through the leg I feel like a mid blue is your best bet for a classic capsule wardrobe but you could also go with white or wash black I almost completely forgot about jeans again the actual cut doesn't matter just that you have two basic washes a great blue and then a wash black these will work with everything. I've only included one dress, one little black dress here. I like the fact that this one has a wrap detail. It actually feels a little bit more elevated than a pure basic, but you could also add in a longer dress if you wanted, something that's a bit more formal for special events and special occasions. Moving on to jackets, we need our layering piece, and I've opted for a blazer here in a neutral color. I've gone with navy, but you could go with camel, white, gray, or black as well. If you feel like blazers are too dressy for you, then you could go with any other transitional season jacket, whether that's a trench, a bomber, or a utility jacket. Final clothing piece to include would be a great coat. And again, the actual style and the cut and also the heft of it is going to depend on your personal circumstances. I really love this one here from Facade Pattern and you'll see that all of the options that I'm sharing here are in dark neutral colors. The reason being that they will go with everything. I love this coat because it is really nice and warm. But you could also opt for a puffer coat if you live in an especially cold climate 
Or alternatively, you could go with a coat that is a little bit shorter that doesn't give you too much coverage on your legs if you feel like that just makes you feel too warm. Moving on to accessories, there are two core bags that I think are a must. One would be a great everyday bag, crossbody, again, in a neutral color because you want it to pair back to everything that you own. The other style would be a good tote bag, something that will fit a laptop and that can be utilized for the office, but also the weekend. This one that I've got here is in black and it's a pebble leather, really hard wearing and it's endured well over the years. A little bonus addition here would be the clutch bag or the evening bag. I absolutely adore this little pouch because it has a strap so you can wear it crossbody or on the shoulder. Otherwise you can tuck it so you can just hold it with your hand. Obviously not a must, but I think a nice to have. Finally, shoes, and there are five styles I think everyone should have in their wardrobe. Sandals to me are a no-brainer, especially when you live in a really hot climate, you want it to be flat, easy to put on and something that won't give you blisters and goes with everything that you have in your wardrobe. Second style you want to have is some sort of closed toe shoe. This could be a ballerina flat like what I've included in my capsule here. Alternatively you could opt for a style like a loafer. Third style are sneakers and I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory but these are going to be a great casual shoe that you can use to also dress down some of those more formal pieces in your wardrobe. Fourth pair are going to be some boots. I personally recommend starting with ankle boots and then moving on to other styles from there going with a really nice neutral color. Then finally, the court shoe, which is gonna be your everyday shoe for the office. You wanna go with an easy neutral that will work back to all of the rest of the pieces in your wardrobe. So there you have it. Those are all of the items that I would recommend seeking out first if you are building your wardrobe from scratch and also just kind of highlighting some of the favorites that I have from my own closet. Now, you can probably see here from the cutaways that I'm putting on screen, just how versatile all of these pieces are. They really mix and match and are interchangeable. You can amp up the formality level or dial it down depending on your circumstances, just with these core pieces. And while they all are in those neutral colors, white, gray, black, and navy, I don't feel like these outfits are boring. They feel very timeless, classic, elegant, elevated, and very chic. And I feel like these are kind of the core tenets of what you're looking for when you want to have enduring style that you're going to look back on in 20 years and still absolutely love the outfits. And I feel like from here, you've got a great base to then build on and add in all those really fun pieces, items that have special style flourishes, those really colorful brights, and you can pair them back, tone them down with the neutrals that you've already built the base of your wardrobe with. And if you're ever curious to see some of the different ways you can mix and match the staples you have in your wardrobe beyond what I featured in this video, then I highly recommend going and checking out my monthly capsules that I share over on my Substack. As I always use really fun little styling tips and tricks to create some interesting and unique details in my outfits. And that wraps everything up. I hope you enjoyed this video and a huge thank you for spending some of your day with me. I'm always so grateful. If you're new here and you would like to subscribe, I would love to have you back. Don't don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.